Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Going to spend some time talking about a company called Backupify. That's right, Backupify. I wouldn't say it three times fast because you could get yourself in trouble. But I like that name, Backupify. I looked at it, and they're in the, the protection and saving of data services. And uh, going to spend a little time uh, talking to Rob May. Rob, what is your role in that company? Hey, how you doing, Kevin? Thanks Good. for having me. Um, so uh, the, the interesting thing about Backupify, um, and, and the thing that is very different about Backupify from other backup applications, is that we only back up data that's in the cloud. The so Google Apps data, Salesforce data, um, data that your companies are using in cloud applications. So uh, what is your role? Are, are you the CEO? Yes, you are. You're the CEO and co-founder. Yes, I am. All right. And how old is the company? Uh, the company is almost five years old. Five years old. How heavily are you involved in the whole uh, Salesforce uh, phenomenon? Uh, so it was our second product. Right? Our first product was a Google Apps backup product, and our second product, which launched last year, was a Salesforce backup product. And so uh, we've been we've been pretty involved. We launched last year at Dreamforce. We're going back to Dreamforce this year with, with an even bigger presence. Um, we've got about 27,000 Salesforce seats that we're backing up. And so, uh, yeah, so, so we're pretty active in the ecosystem. What is your uh, level of uh, involvement uh, there at Dreamforce in San Francisco, which I've gone every year, but it appears this year I got a conflict that won't let me go, but I've gone every year for several years. But uh, what, is your, uh, what is your level of involvement? Uh, so, we're, so we're sponsors. Um, we have a booth uh, that will be, that'll be up on the show floor. We're also sponsors of the Recharge Lounge or Refresh Lounge or, or, or something like that. I forget the exact name. Uh, where people can go and hang out and, and get refreshments and plug in their laptops and everything else. And then I'm also speaking personally on a panel on Monday about using Salesforce to grow your small business because we've used it, we use it internally, right, to run our own sort of sales operations. Uh, but we've also used some of the Salesforce, like the, like the Salesforce App Exchange, to sell our product. And so we, we sort of use both sides of the Salesforce uh, ecosystem to, to grow back up a five. What level are you sponsoring? Well, like, uh, yeah. that's a good question. I, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, man. And it's a huge investment. I don't care what level you're at, bronze or whatever. It's, it's rather, it's rather uh, costly. But uh, everyone I talk to, you know, all I, all I notice is that they keep coming back. So people are closing deals because of this. Yeah. I mean, it was great for us last year. We got over, uh, over 150 really high quality leads. And I think more than, more than any other customer acquisition method you can look at. I mean, this is the, it's the single best thing for the Salesforce ecosystem. Every, everybody's there. So it's, it's, you, I think you've got to do it if you sell into the Salesforce ecosystem. Yeah. Now, there seems to me that there's a lot of companies out there in your domain area, your domain area of, of expertise. What differentiates you from those other companies? Yeah, great question. So, um, so, so the backup area for the Salesforce ecosystem is primarily dominated by on-premise backup vendors. So they will take your Salesforce data and they will suck it down to a location. You'll probably install that software on your own server or something like that. Um, there's really only two companies doing cloud-to-cloud backup. Uh, and, and one of them is Backupify. So we take it and we put it in, you know, Amazon Web Services. Uh, and the nice thing about that is you don't have to deploy the software, right? There's no software to download or install. You just set it up, you authorize us, and we, you know, work over the back ends of the Internet. So we'll take Salesforce to Amazon connection, which is a very fast connection, be able to back you up, and it won't bog down any of your local bandwidth or any of your local disk space. Um, we also, uh, you know, you manage those backups and everything else just through a uh, web browser. Mm-hmm. So, so that's one differentiator. And then the other differentiator is the fact that we do a lot of apps other than Salesforce. We actually have a platform uh, and developer API that, that allows us to quickly add any cloud application that you'd like to back up by just defining uh, or just writing the data definition for that backup. So, um, so we've really taken this the strategy of going after the, you know, middle to large uh, enterprise segment of the market and really going very horizontal, backing up the, the most applications that we possibly can. Mm-hmm. And uh, kind of give us, give us an idea of the range of uh, clients you have in terms of size, what industries do you gravitate towards, that type of thing. Uh, yeah, great question. So, um, so we have about 6,000 customers, and uh, some of those are really, really big customers, um, you know, on the Google Apps side, I know, uh, you know, Financial Times is a customer. They're, they're pretty big. Um, on, the, on the Salesforce side, um, we have a customer called, um, uh, I always want to say Mavenlink, but it's not Mavenlink. It's, um, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, you know, we, we, we have a 
The guy made a video for it. The guy made a video for it, everything else, and it sounds like Maven Link, and that's why I always, um, I always forget who, who, you know, who the name that's, is. That's okay. Go ahead um, and finish your, your point without knowing that name. It's okay. But anyway, but you know, we have a, a, a Root Capital as a customer that, that uses us for Salesforce and Google App Backup. Um, and, and, uh, and I think uh, Forrester is a customer that uses us for both. Um, so, so we have a lot of customers who uh, you know, in the Salesforce space, and they span a broad range, right? We have people that are backing up, you know, five, six feet because they're, they're pretty small. Um, and I think our largest customer is, uh, is backing up about 2,000 Salesforce feet. So that's, a, that's a pretty big company. Sure. So you would say most of your clients, though, the vast majority would be mid-market. Yes, I would say our sweet spot is really companies with sort of 500 to 5,000 employees, and uh, that's that's where we really we really sell well. Yeah, is there certain industries that like your product uh, more than others, uh, or, or are you just do you just transcend all industry? Um, we're very popular in uh, nonprofit uh, industries. We're very popular with um, high tech industries, uh, and I think the reason for that is is the the the, uh, the nonprofit industry uses a lot of cloud to try to cut costs, and so finding a backup solution for the cloud applications is important. And the technology industry tends to use a lot of cloud because the companies are younger, they're newer, they didn't have an on-premise infrastructure, um, or they just you know are a little more forward-thinking in their IT um, and tend to go you know have a lot of remote workers or a distributed workforce, and so cloud works for them. Uh, so so I think our customer base largely mirrors the base of people who have adopted the most cloud applications. Okay, very cool, very cool. Interesting uh, learning more about what you're doing. And uh, what, by the way, what part of the country are you in, uh, Rob? Uh, we're in Cambridge, Massachusetts, in Central Square. Yeah, so you'll be taking quite the uh, c- quite the trip to get out there to uh, California, but it's it's always fun once you get there, isn't it? It is, and I'll tell you, that the nice thing about flying out of Boston, you can fly Virgin America, and, I mean, man, they are fantastic coast-to-coast uh you know, TV, Wi-Fi, food, like it's, it's, it's almost like sitting at home. Yeah, you got to love that. You know, I've never done Virgin Airlines, so i gotta, I got to do that sometime. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Rob Mays with a company called Backupify, and uh, the website there is uh, B-A-C-K-U-P-I-F-Y dot com, Backupify dot com. Uh, really big on helping uh, backup content on the cloud. Uh, frankly, you never even know some of the stuff that you may be doing that is currently free could all of a sudden change overnight. It'd be nice to have all of that backed up. I, I imagine that's part of uh, the strategy as well, uh, isn't it, Rob? Yes, it is. I mean, we're, we're really looking at three reasons that people buy the product. Number one, it's, um, it's user error. So it's one-third of all data loss is user error. Somebody makes a mistake. You know, your, your cloud provider can't get that back to you. The second is hacked account. Um, so, you know, now this uh, hacker breaks into your account. It's accessible via web browser. They, they screw up the data, and then you have, you know, a problem. Or uh, for a lot of smaller applications, it's, um, you know, you, you shut down the service or the service shuts down and you don't have a data escrow agreement and you can't get that data out, and then you're, you're really in trouble if it's important corporate assets. Very good stuff. Rob May, make sure you check them out at backupify.com. That's backupify.com. Also, I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and uh, stay tuned for more right after this on The Price of Business. <laughs> 